For years, depository officials were pressured to open the vault for civilian inspection. But Fort Knox continued to refuse to allow the public inside. Finally, in 1974, for the first and probably last time, a dozen congressmen and 100 journalists were invited inside. Among them was a young senator from Kentucky called Walter Huddleston. As one who has lived within just a few miles of this installation for a good many years, but who has never been inside the front gate, I can say that it is a, with a great deal of interest that those of us from the Congress have this opportunity to view the deposit here and to learn just uh, what is inside the gold vault here at Fort Knox. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. Illinois Congressman Philip Crane, who'd helped initiate the audit, was also there. Uh, Congressman Crane, you suggested all this. Why? Well, I did because there were rampant rumors and members of Congress were receiving a great deal of mail based on the charge uh, that significant portions of our gold reserves at Fort Knox were gone. So I had suggested to Secretary of the Treasury Simon that I thought this would be a good way, I think, to dispel those rumors. The secret contents of the vault were about to be viewed by the public and recorded on film for the first time. Huddleston was on hand as the vault door was unlocked and the wheel was turned 14 times to open the latch. You have to stand back, gentlemen, please, so we can get It's a big thing, 20 times. I think there was a considerable amount of excitement and expectation. I personally felt like we were going to find gold. I didn't think that uh, we were going to find it empty, but I, you know, recognized maybe that was a possibility. The visitors were led to a room. Now you can see what's in here. A blue sign showed exactly what was inside this one single compartment. 36,236 gold bars almost 12 billion ounces. At the time, it was valued at almost $500 million. We're cutting the ribbon. Now we have to be very careful of this document. What they saw next was astounding. Come on, can you believe that? Look at that, there's one of the ceiling. Well, I remember being somewhat in awe of seeing all the gold stacked uh, toward the ceiling. I thought, here I am in the presence of a great fortune. It was an interesting experience right from the beginning. And these have been weighing about 22 pounds. Each of the gold bricks was worth $65,000 at the market price of the time. You got it, John? Don't drop it. <laughs> Bill Evans was one of the journalists allowed inside. Nobody knew what to expect. And everybody was wide-eyed and said, this is Fort Knox. I'm inside Fort Knox. And as we were taken down one of the corridors, we were allowed to see the gold and we were allowed to pick it up, hold it, look at it, inspect it, and to my knowledge it was Let me get the measurements again. What happened then? Gerald Lush was editor of the News Enterprise Daily newspaper. He too was there. I never had a doubt once I laid on that it was just the look of it. I just thought that's the real thing. There's no way you could fake that. You got it? 42 pounds are there about. Amid the excitement, director of the Mint, Mary Brooks, took center stage as host of the event. She wore a money green dress and a necklace adorned with gold coins. Miss Brooks, are you happy now that the gold is here? Oh, of course. I knew it was here all the time. I think she was having a ball. I mean, how, how many times did you get to, get to to make a tour and lead a tour of Fort Knox, Kentucky? First time ever. No photographer or reporter has been allowed into Fort Knox since. <laughs>